Miraj and Isra. That miracle journey was during the night time and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent a beautiful heavenly baby white horse named Barak to take the Prophet through the journey. Isra was known as the journey between the Kaaba and Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem, Palestine. And the Miraj was known as the journey between Al-Aqsa Mosque and the heaven. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that night in Surah Isra verse 1 or another name of that surah is Surah Bani Israel. The details of this story is very big and that's why we found several different versions of the stories from different sahabas who were all mentioned in the great tafsir Ibn Qasir. After a really long time of studying and researching the story, inshallah, we will try to tell you the most logical version of the story from Ibn Qasir. But as always, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the best. Between the 10th and the 13th year of Muhammad wasallam's prophethood, one night in Mecca, after praying his Isha prayer, the Prophet was taking a rest next to the Kaaba. At that time, Angel Jibreel, peace be upon him, came with a small white horse and it was called Al-Burak. First, Jibreel, peace be upon him, opened Muhammad wasallam's chest and cleaned his heart with the Zamzam water. Afterwards, he put it back into his chest. The angel requested Muhammad wasallam to ride the burak. Instantly, the burak started to fly. One step of the magical creature covered a great long distance. And because of that, within a very short time, they reached the holy place, which was Masjid al-Aqsa. Then Prophet Muhammad went inside the mosque and prayed to Raqqa to respect the mosque. That prayer that he prayed is called Tahiyatul Masjid. Then Jibrail, peace be upon him, offered a glass of milk and a glass of wine to Muhammad as a guest. The Prophet rejected the glass of wine and instead accepted the milk. Jibrail, peace be upon him, became very happy and said that that was a very good decision to accept milk and reject the wine. Even though the Prophet had just went on a journey from Mecca to the Masjid al-Aqsa, there was still another journey that was waiting for Muhammad wasallam. Then after they were well rested, Angel Jibrail and the Prophet started their journey to the sky. When they reached the first sky, Jibrail, peace be upon him, requested angels to open the sky door. Many different books use the word sky and heaven as the same thing. But many scholars agree that the sky and the heaven are two different things. So, after they went through the first sky door, Muhammad wasallam saw our father of mankind, Prophet Adam, peace be upon him. They were both very happy and gave salam to one another. Muhammad saw that all of the good people's soul were on the side of Adam, peace be upon him, and all the bad people's soul were on his other side. So, Muhammad became very sad and started to cry. Muhammad and Angel Jibrail, peace be upon them, continued on with their journey to the second sky. Jibrail, peace be upon him, again requested the door angels to open the gate. After entering the second sky, Muhammad saw two prophets, Isa, or in English, Jesus, and Yahya, peace be upon them. They all gave salam to one another as soon as they met. Then, Muhammad and Jibrail, peace be upon them, moved their journey up to the third sky. 
After the third sky gate opened, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam met the most beautiful and handsome prophet in the world, which was Yusuf peace be upon him. At the fourth sky, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam met Prophet Idris peace be upon him. Then in the fifth sky, the Prophet met Harun peace be upon him. And then after that, the great Prophet Musa peace be upon him on the sixth sky. When he saw Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Musa peace be upon him started to cry that he had less followers in the heaven. And he also said that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam would have more followers in the heaven. When Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam reached the seventh sky, he saw Prophet Ibrahim peace be upon him. He was rest next to the Baitul Ma'mur Mosque, which was located directly on top of the Kaaba. But every day, only seventy thousand angels are allowed to pray in that mosque, and that is a chance that they only get once in their lifetime. How does the Baitul Ma'mur Mosque look like? According to some scholars, Baitul Ma'mur looks just like the Kaaba, but Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala knows the best. After meeting Prophet Ibrahim peace be upon him, Angel Jibreel and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam both went to the highest point of limit of all creation, and then they saw Sidratul Muntaha, which was the biggest tree in paradise. Its size of its fruits and leaves were extremely big. It was also covered by golden butterflies. It was so beautiful that no one could ever explain it. Over there, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam saw Angel Jibreel peace be upon him in his real form and shape. He was very big, and the Prophet saw that the Angel Jibreel had six hundred wings. At that point, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala talked to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. According to some scholars, Angel Jibreel peace be upon him stopped there, and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam went beyond the tree to talk to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. But Allah Subhanahu wa Taala knows the best. Did Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam see Allah Subhanahu wa Taala? With his own eyes? No, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam did not see Allah subhanahu wa taala. No human eye cannot ever see Allah subhanahu wa taala. Allah subhanahu wa taala talked to him like Musa peace be upon him and gave him a special message to the Muslims. Allah subhanahu wa taala and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam were there talking about the daily prayer. At first, the daily prayer was fifty times a day. After receiving Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala's message, Muhammad and Jibreel peace be upon them started their journey to come back to the earth. On their way, Musa peace be upon him stopped them and wanted to know what that special message was. When Musa peace be upon him knew about fifty times daily prayer. He advised Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to go back to Allah subhanahu wa taala and request to have a less number of daily prayers. Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam did not know what to do. Then he turned to Jibreel peace be upon him for his advice. Jibreel peace be upon him told Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that he could go back and request for less prayers. So then he went back to the Sidratul Muntaha. And requested Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala for less number of prayers. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala accepted his request and lowered it to ten times of daily prayer. And then the Prophet started their journey back to Mecca again. Again, Musa peace be upon him stopped them 
and advised him to request Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have less number of daily prayers. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went back again and requested Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for less number of prayers. This time as a gift to Muslims, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave only five times of a daily prayer. Again on the way, Musa peace be upon him stopped them and advised for less. Musa peace be upon him told that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted his people to do less, but still his people did not do their duties. At that point, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did not feel comfortable to go back again and ask for less daily prayers. Suddenly, the prophets could hear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's voice. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told them that it was an easy order to follow for Muslims. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also said that if we pray our five times daily prayer, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us the same reward as praying 50 times a day. And his order was final. During the journey of the Mir'aj, Jibreel peace be upon him showed hell and heaven to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Scholars have different opinions about that, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the best. Jibreel peace be upon him also showed the most beautiful Kawthar river and stream, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as a gift after his youngest son Abdullah had died. On his journey, he also saw the angel named Malik without a smile. He was the angel who was the guard for hell. In different hadiths, we know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed some examples of the bad people's punishments. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam once again returned to the Masjid al-Aqsa before the morning prayer, Fajr time. All of the prophets came and got together for the first mandatory prayer of the day, which was Fajr prayer. That prayer was the first official prayer that was prayed in Islam after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala finalized the daily five times prayer. Angel Jibreel, peace be upon him, asked Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to lead the prayer. And because of that, it was proof that Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was the leader of all the prophets. Then after the prayer, Jibreel peace be upon him and Muhammad وسلم, started their journey back to Mecca. On their way, Muhammad وسلم, saw a group of people who were coming to Mecca. Muhammad and Jibreel peace be upon them returned to Mecca before sunrise. 